scenes. This section describes the basic technique required for successful solo and shows how to sew a wide range of scenes allowing you to piece all sorts of shapes. We will also look at the proper techniques for trimming the seam and the best ways to press them. As each method has its characteristic, uh, we will see it in detail. Fold and press. In this method, we can sew the units in different ways. If you choose to sew the project by hand, you are going to take two units and join them aligning the borders with the right sides facing each other. Start with one of the corners and sew with a whip stitch or you can use a runner stitch. When you finish, you're going to open the units and press well to set the sew. Keep joining and sewing the units in this way and make a row. Join and sew the rows in the same way, taking care that there are no holes in the sewing line. Press well all the project base and you are ready to apply the windows. If you are going to sew the units by machine, you can do it in this way. Align two units and sew the edges with a zigzag stitch, taking care that the entire sewing line is well closed. You can also join two units and sew it at a 1 8 inch with a top stitch. Open the units and press well to set the seam. There is another technique in which you sew the units before closing them, marking the points correctly so that the unit does not lose its shape. Then you close the units by machine or by hand as you prefer. It is not the method that I use because I don't have the patience to be marking and maintaining the shapes of the units, but you can use it if you want. In any case, join and sew the units in rows and then join the rows in the same way. Press on the front side carefully before starting to apply the windows. Over machine. In this method, we have a particular sewing sequence to build each block. First, you fold the square for the window frame in half, right side out. You join this piece with the two squares of fabric that will form one side of the block. Sew at a quarter of an inch, starting the seam at a quarter of an inch and end it at a quarter of an inch as well. And then you sew the other side of the block in the same way. Press the seams to the side to set on the seams. Trim the seam. Press from the right as well. We take the two midpoints of the frame fabric and pull them outward perpendicularly to join the center seams. Now, make sure that the seams allowances are folded to both sides. Nesting them as you sew. Sewing along until you reach the center seams. Make sure the seams are nested. So up to the end and back stitch. Press on the back of the block to open the seam and with your hands arrange or collapse the seam allowance in opposite direction. Then press. Trim the seam and press on the right side. Do the same with each block until finished and then we apply the weight. Fold and sew. In this method, we apply the traditional machine patchwork construction techniques, but keep in mind that we have to work with three layers of fabric on each side of the seam. To achieve neat and precise results, we must pay attention to the details indicated in this section and in the project itself since we will have to solve the troubles regarding bulky scenes. One of the scenes to keep in mind is to maintain the seam allowance at a quarter of an inch at all times. To make the units, we join and sew three pieces, the base and two folded pieces that make the window frame. 
we're going to join and solve the units given the order of the new semi loans. In this case, the templates help us to correct any mistakes in the solving. Take as a reference the line of stitches that has remained in the unit after drawing and sewing the, the pieces. Join the units and align these seeds. Start sewing from a quarter of an inch indicated by the beginning of the seam and continue to the new point indicated by the quarter of an inch from here and back stitch. According to the instructions of the project, uh, we press the seam to the side or open and trim at 1 8 inch. We press on the right side of the work, continuing with the sewing sequence indicated on each project, joining and sewing until finished. Uh, one of the most frequent seams in this method is the Y seam. Uh, let's see how to solve this seam to achieve the best results. This type of seam construction is needed when three seams meet in one place, which makes it necessary to leave the seam allowance free to accomplish a flat, smooth intersection. This kind of sewing is not difficult, but you will need patience until you get used to it. Punch holes on the templates and mark reference dots on the wrong side of your fabric pieces to guide yourself. Now, take unit A and unit B and join them by matching the seams and respecting the quarter of an inch seam loads. So, from point 1 to point 2, making a few stitches, back stitching at each point and leaving point 2 open. Press the seam to the side and trim. Take unit C and join it to unit A in the same way, taking care to keep point 2 open. Next, join and align the seam allowances of unit C and B together and so from the other point to point 2, always making a few back stitches at each point to secure. Press the seam open and trim. In the practice with muslin section of each block, you will see more information about how to press on each case. Trimming and grading seam allowance. The project used a quarter of an inch seam allowance to begin, but trimming seams will alleviate and distribute the accumulation of bulk. Trim seams to a generous one eighth, whether the seam is open or pressed in one direction. If the seam is pressed open, trim one side and then the other. It is much easier to trim an open seam than it is to open an already trimmed seam. Always press first, then trim or grade with scissors because, uh, because it is faster than to cut with the rotary cutter. Don't trim or grade too much because the seam allowance will stand straight up rather than a press on one side of the other. You must also know that your work is correct before trimming. If you trim or grade a seam and then discover that you need to remove stitches and sew again, your seam allowance will have been distorted and changed.